Hi there, signs of Capricorn. This is Kim with your message here today. Hope you're doing good. Hope you're doing great. Let's see. Let's see. What messages is opening up to spirit team, spirit guides, and your angels, our angels? Let's see what messages we can get. All the decks I use are listed down below, but I'm going to pull from this one specifically right now. Um, Kim Cran's Wild Unknown Alchemy. I don't know why I said specifically. That didn't make sense. This one in specific is, all right, so you have some kind of um, transition point that you're at right now with this in between, like, but it's going to be a polar opposite. So. And this is um, the lead card. Okay, I'm getting protection. I'm getting a lot of things. I'm getting protection. I'm getting making a decision here that it's really getting. It's going to affect. It really a transition that you already know you're on. So it's like in in between. The in between. <clears throat> you may be in a liminal space. You know where there's nothing filling it in yet. Quite yet. A tough decision, but you're protected. And you're looking really good. <laughs> yeah, and you're like, oh yeah, you're a magnetic. You're looking really good. You have the iron card and the peacock's tail. So the peacock's tail is about showing your colors. You're doing something to perfection and there's a new cycle here. It's gonna bring about your life purpose, like why you're here, what you need to speak or communicate to people. You hold like a pearl of wisdom. I love the peacock. I love peacock feathers. I think they look like little eyes. I absolutely love them. So it does kind of remind me of people being able to observe. It's almost like we're all in a way making our own path. Um, and then there's the way showers. Maybe you're a light bringer, a way shower. So uh, others being like, okay, that person's been through something similar and they made a way. Oh, and they shine bright and they look really good, you know, while they do it. That would be the peacock's tail. And there's a feeling like you really grasp a higher perspective on things or the big picture. You grasp the big picture. And you're magnetic. Look at the iron card. Look at these two very heavy. And in fact, you definitely shouldn't have too much of this ever in you. <laughs> Lead. Iron you have to have to make yourself strong in your blood. Um, that's weird. So what's your poison? Are you going to choose your poison or are you going to choose the stuff that gives you strength instead? And I think when I say poison, probably you have something that you could attribute, whether that's a, th a substance or, or whether that is a person. Like, what's your poison? What is it? I think that's coming out because you have a heavy decision to make regarding that and because you're attracting everything like that you're wanting. Um, okay, so that means you're attracting your light and your dark is attracting what it wants and your light's attracting what it wants. So you have to make choices okay and find balance if you can that's that's the that's the goal really is balance moderation I think Aristotle moderation <clears throat> is key to everything <laughs> everything why salt so you see the spectrum of light and what you're able, your your wisdom is, is what's paving this path for you. You could view it like this symbol that stands for magic. You could view it, view it as your magic now. Um, salt, there's another um, message of protection, of being very protected because I, got, I just saw um, holy water. Uh, it was strange. Like the first, the first um, thing that came into my head when I started thinking, okay, what are the other ways salt? You know, would be good. Is I saw um, a priest like blessing a house, and so there's something about that or about holy water. It might be, it might be helpful to figure out where to get some. 
I mean, can't you just go, go to the Catholic Church and pick some up? I don't know. I don't know, but I'm assuming you could. I mean, because they believe in that. I mean, maybe all the tourist ones, I've seen them sell it. I'm not sure. You know what I mean? Like New Orleans. <laughs> Most famous churches. Uh, oh my God, I love that church. Ooh. Most beautiful church I've really ever been into is New Orleans, and I've been to lots of famous ones. And that that one, I felt the most. Maybe it was because of all the sinners that have entered the door. <laughs> you know, oh, there was just something, some feeling like I was like automatically okay. I'm okay. We're all okay now. <laughs> okay, spring. So I have spring. I have blossoming or blooming. Something blossoming or blooming for you. Tell me more about this lead. Great work. This is part of your great work. You're getting accolades in the spirit for what you're doing. I'm going to just pull from that there. That there. <laughs> Gonna pull from this goodness. I guess I'll keep it because it's not, it's not in the same order as my last reading was. So I know that this is for you. Let's move these out a little bit and then we can fit them all in. I bet. Oh, by the way, let me do my little insert here. I do have private readings available. Those are twenty four dollars. You can book them in the description box below and you get a private sent reading for you. Wow, the androgen. Okay, something is uh, literally coming together beautifully. Maybe you and another person. Look at all these rainbows um, and spectrums. The blue flower representing some kind of um, new, brand new experience. It's the Virgin's Milk card. And then you also have the spider dropping down. And, and what I noticed right away with this is that the spider has not um, made a web yet in this card. Like it is just now dropping down because it is not only a new experience and it also looks like there's the universe in the middle of this rose. Like whatever you want to weave, all is possible. There's night and day. There's a little bit of everything on this card, but this is something coming together that has no label yet. And there's promise. I see the rainbow. I see the promise. I see miracles. promise and then the alchemical wedding that it'll all come together just right just as you need it um, this is celebration possibly of your own inner growth and your inner journey of divine masculine to I mean feminine to the masculine energy uh, the way that it moves You know, I've never really thought about that that much, but I'm just, I've never really thought about that. But the Kundalini, like you talk about it and they're like, oh yeah, it's okay, it's the feminine, it goes up to the masculine. But if we are always like uh, holding in this energy up till maybe it's activated in us, then does that mean that all of our power is like suppressed or repressed into the feminine more so? Would that be what that means because of the, you know what I mean? I don't know. It's just something I'm pondering. If you have an answer to that, please do um, share what you think that means. Does it mean that we start off more in our feminine is what I'm saying. Um, so the alchemical wedding and then the reddening, something coming to life. This is something beautiful to be created here. This is turning into an interesting design. <laughs> the darkening so this is that energy that's being uh squished in uh, squished in by some type of dark feeling or heavy emotion and it's it's holding this pearl down but you've got an energy that's breaking those pearls apart and pulling it up like like the life is going to come back to you I think especially with the ash, this is like a rising from the phoenix of a dark night of a soul. Like that would be the experience 
um, that we're ready to put every, all of it, every bit of it into the past because we're awakening this energy inside us. We're rising from the ashes. It's a really, actually, really, really beautiful message here for you. And then you've got this decision, this decision. I have no doubt you're being, like, you're being very celebrated here. What could be growing for you? What could be growing for you? Let's see. Let's ask the Kipper deck. What is it that Capricorn is growing at this time? Maybe their community. If you have a fan base, maybe your uh, media or something to do with that. Could be. Or just growing in your community. Or grow. <laughs> Part of growing a community. Maybe talking about business. There's a gift. So what is coming to blossom or bloom for you? Something the universe wants to give you after what you have been through. Do you have a spirit child or a new beginning wanting to pop through? I get that energy of being pushed into a little coil like this. And then something's just going to uh, release it. And we are in the eclipse, like uh, energy of the energetic corridor in between the uh, eclipse, the partial lunar eclipse here coming up so imprisonment time constraints restrictions another community card whoa is someone revealing who they are false person in the reverse high honor wealthy man why imprisonment Oh, because something is either is an unhealthy situation, is an unhealthy situation for you, or there is somebody who is very ill. This could be about a person that you're taking care of, or that you feel that you feel like you may be responsible for. I'm seeing because I'm seeing the imprisonment here, and then I'm being drawn to the chair like the person that would sit next to them. Not like it's a, I guess not a bad energy, but that just feels like there's some kind of time, kind, uh, restraint or constraints, restrictions for you. It could be about restrictions due to health, uh, turning health around from bad health. Like, okay, now if you're having, I don't know, you know, some people are, have kidney issues that are restricted to a certain amount of water a day. Uh, don't want to overload the kidney. Like, so it could be like some kind of restriction or supplementation to you, to your diet, to whatever, to your regimen, adding something such as increase in exercise. I need that one. <laughs> I need that one. Ew, there's a bug in my water. I don't have a gnat flying around now, so that's that's good. All right, marriage card is popping out. Why are all of these cards out of here? Toil and labor expectation in the reverse. This is like the marriage card. This is something that's coming together rather nicely for you. Business or romance, it can be. This is like a gift, this new journey of love compassion just love <laughs> doing things together celebrating marriage message of concern Ooh. worried possibly about occupation but it's coming out on the upright so something's going to come to life or get a feel okay yeah whatever this is that's blossoming or blooming if you relate it to being part of a, a group that's trying to grow the community in any way, physically or, or online, a community online, growing it, that's about to like speed up or take off, get more life to it. I can't talk. And iron, because you're just going to be magnetic at this time. Look at this, the lovers, the marriage card, occupation card, could be people coming together for a crossroads. 
wanting to create a family with you, staying a lot with you. Hmm. We'll pull from the 108. An airplane, travel, long distance, something's changing. We're about to overcome. Good. 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 These are positive. Positive new relationships coming into your life. They're um, either wanting to give you gifts or they are part of the big gift from the universe. Just this energy being in your life. Uncertain at this time. All um, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn have gotten that now. Okay. So eyeglasses. And it might be about some kind of letter or something that you received. Because breaking down 14 to 2, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7. So, examine the, the fine print. If, it feels like it's going to be something good. For some romantic, for some this is going to be a business proposal. But it is important. It's going to be important to look at all the details. And, and I think eyeglasses might be important to you anyway, like if you have some. So, master, discipline, working smart, focus, structure, teaching, training, conquer, overcome, controlled, learning a skill in the flow, authoritarian, and you have a commanding presence. And then I have the bedroom. I'll probably end with this one too. Sexual fulfillment, intimacy, sensual pleasure, love affair, sleep, contentment, leisure, nap, alone time, oasis, retiring, dream time, astral travel, and call it a day. And then here I'm going to pull from the white light oracle to close out your reading. Shaktapat of Seahorse. Okay, sure, it's part is descriptive. So that Shaktapa is transmission of grace. So it's the transition of grace. It's a gift of energy that enables mastery, is what it says. And you've got master too. As you embrace your inner essence, you'll be at peace with who you are, including your vulnerability, and no longer need to conform to social ideas which have no true resonance for your heart. You are encouraged to trust your intuitive recognition of which environments and relationships harmonize well with you, supporting your spiritual growth and well-being on all levels. You have the innate capacity to manifest. Relax, and you shall attract all that you need. I am sending you lots of love. Thanks.